testimony, and then she's gonna sing her song. So just give, let's give Samantha a hand today, okay? God bless you guys. Hi, how's everybody doing today? of eight years of letting God do a lot of work in me and healing me and delivering me and setting me free from everything, from um, years of addiction. And I, I won't even get into specifics, but just years of addiction and just a lot, a lot, a lot of horrible things. And I could not save myself. I could not deliver myself. I could not heal myself no matter how hard I tried. And one day I was on my deathbed. I knew it. I was laying in bed and I was scared out of my mind because I felt like I was, I felt like fire. Like I felt, like I always loved God. I grew up Catholic. I always thought God and I had this great relationship. But for some reason, when I was in that place, I felt the flames of hell. I knew what they were. And it scared me to death. And I did not know what was going on because I thought God loved me. What's going on? What is this? And thank the Lord that I woke up the next day. And I actually went out to a bar that night. And I remember I was looking up at the sky and I remember saying out loud, not even knowing, not even knowing what I was saying. I said, Lord, I need you to save me because I'm going to die. And I don't know what to do. And somebody walked up to me that day. And they told me about Jesus. And they opened up the Bible and they explained it to me in a way I'd never heard before. They explained to me that Jesus would save me. And I didn't even realize that I needed to be saved in the first place. Once I found that out, then I was like, oh my God, not only that, but he's going to heal me. He's going to deliver me of all of these things, all of these things. And so I have lived my life to run after him and to know him. I am not a religious person. And this is not religion. It's about a relationship with your father in heaven that we are able to have because Jesus paid the price. He paid the price for every single sin so that we can come to God. It doesn't matter what you've done. I, I might look like a clean girl, but you don't even know what I've done. I won't even get into it. And the fact that I have the ability to even stand here is just the grace of God and the love of God. And so today, what everybody's doing here by sharing our testimonies is not inviting you into a religion and into rules and regulations because nobody wants that. Nobody wants another list of this and that, and I can do this and I can't do that. We are inviting you into a relationship with somebody who loves you more than anybody will ever love you, and somebody who understands more than anybody will ever understand. So I'm going to attempt to sing to the best that I can, and I pray that you're all blessed by everything today. And Lord, I just thank you for, being, for everybody that is here today. God, I bless everybody here today. Lord, I pray that you would be glorified, Jesus. You are worthy. Jesus, you are worthy of all of our praise. You are worthy for us to give you our lives so that we can live for you and share your name and your power to everybody. And this this song is called Break Every Chain, and it's just about the power of Jesus to break chains off of our lives. Okay. 